Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good day. It was hot and humid and we had isolated thunder showers around today. Not so much here in the city, but mainly up to the north towards Beeville and uh, Rockport. A couple showers down around Falfurius right now and stretching north to Premont. But uh, again, all that activity is weakening at the present time. A little shower there around uh, the Benavides Hebronville area headed to the east of Freer. There's a disturbance out to the west that will be moving in with unstable air and that will draw in moisture and thunder showers from the Gulf. Uh, later this evening, you can see that on our evening forecast. Quiet for now and 90 degrees. It'll be down to about 82 at midnight and the winds will settle down. They got breezy today. That blew a lot of the clouds out of here and prevented it from raining here in town with too much wind. But the winds settle down later tonight and we'll see scattered showers and thunder showers. Of course, some of this activity will cause the winds to temporarily pick up, but the, the rain will be causing the wind, not the uh, prevailing uh, pressure gradient. Now here's that disturbance right here on the water vapor imagery out here in Mexico. Here we are in South Texas and again this is going to spread our way overnight. It will also draw this moisture in at low levels from the Gulf and a combination of the two will produce scattered activity here the next couple of days. Not all areas are going to see rain. In fact, I think we can break that down a little bit over time, but one little disturbance is working up towards Houston now and here comes the next one. This will be at a little bit more of a lower angle, so we have a better shot at showers here tomorrow and also on Thursday. Believe it or not, there is a frontal system up to the north and yeah, that pink area right there is snow in Denver, Colorado. They were near 100 degrees this weekend and now it's snowing in Denver. So let's take a look at the snow in Denver and there it is. And this is uh, uh, Genesee, Colorado. And isn't that something? And this is really September? Wow, that is absolutely amazing. It's the earliest snow they've had in Denver and the Denver area in 10 years. So maybe a sign of things to come. Maybe, uh, maybe it's gonna be a rough winter after all. But there it is, that's a beautiful sight. All right, so as we take a look at what's happening with the front, again, 50 in Amarillo in the morning, but 80 here, 20 in Casper, Wyoming, 36 tomorrow evening, while well, we'll be at 89. So the front has some punch to it, but the problem is, is the upper level low. So this front is gonna stall, unlike last week, this low is gonna dig through, but it's actually gonna kick out to the north and east and take the cold air with it because it's being nudged along by high pressure. That high pressure is moving it out to the Great Lakes, and so that is unfortunate. So to recap our weather here in the short run, scattered showers and thunder showers developing overnight. Not all areas seeing rain, but a lot of it will, and uh, some of it's going to be on the heavy side, especially the northeastern quadrant of the coastal bend along I-37 and northward. By the time we get to tomorrow evening, it kind of winds down. It picks up again on Thursday morning, and then by uh, Thursday afternoon, the showers go inland and diminish. So here you can see the activity again along 37. That's a general idea, but lesser amounts as you go south and west. The winds, they are breezy right now. They will settle down except near thunder shower activity during the day tomorrow. The tropics, we've got this system over here in the Atlantic that could develop, and then two storms out in the Atlantic, Renee and Paulette, neither one of them going to threaten us. We're good. The seven-day forecast, 91 tomorrow, 89 on Thursday with scattered showers and thunder showers, drying out for Friday and Saturday, isolated showers with a weak front dissipating Sunday, and scattered showers and a little lower temperatures Monday and Tuesday. All right, Katya, that's a look at the weather forecast. Some rain on the way. That sounds good. We like that. Thanks, Dale.